Hello lovely people, you are welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Mom and Us. I hope you are all doing well. Thank you for staying with me. And if you are a new subscriber here, so you are warmly welcome. Today I want to show you how I preserve my spring onion at home. Yes. I got this spring onions at a very cheap price and I realized that just a day the leaves is turning into something else so I want to preserve it in my own way so I also want to show it to people so that I can also preserve yours as such I have washed the spring onions and I air dry them to get rid of any moisture because when there is any water in it, the preservation wouldn't be perfect. So I have dry air dried them. So what I will do now is to get rid of all the roots and any unwanted thing around the spring onion. So let's get into it. So I'm getting rid of the roots. And peel off any excess leaf that I do not want. Please, as you watch my videos, kindly like it, subscribe, and share with your friends and families, okay? okay. We are still getting rid of the roots and the on all the unwanted parts. So what we are going to do now is To use our season, you can see from the this part also. There are some parts that we do not need, so we are also going to get rid of all these parts. The brownish color. We are going to get rid of all that. So let's go through the process. At this point, we'll be using our scissors. You have to use scissors. To get rid of this is the part that we do not want. This part. The brownish part.
are almost done. at this point so let's move to the next At this point, we are going to separate um, this part, I mean the roots, from the upper part. So we are cutting it into pieces. This part, the, uh, the, the root, we are going to blend it with other ingredients for stew. Yes, so that is why we are going to separate. Sometimes we buy spring onions, then we leave them in our fridge. But because of the moisture in the fridge, at a point when you need it, you wouldn't get it as fresh as you bought it. So, if you follow this process, I tell you, you get your fresh spring onion back as how you bought it. You make sure you don't keep it at a place where there is moisture at the soil. So we have finished cutting the bottom like this with a cover. Yes. And we pour it inside. You make sure the bowl is free from moisture. It is very, very necessary. Yes. So we are done with this but we are moving on to the other parts. Yes. When you use scissors, it's much easier. Please, the size, you can cut it to your desired size, okay? How you want it to be, that is how you cut it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, okay? Watch my videos, like, share, comment as well. And also let me know where you are watching me from. And when you prepare any of my recipe there, do tag me and let me know what you've also prepared, okay? Yes.
we are in the month of December. So I'll try as much as I can to bring you a lot of exciting videos, okay? Especially on my baking tips. We have finished cutting the green part also. So lovely people, this is the end of our video. Yes, I am going to keep this in the fridge. And as I said, I don't keep it at a place where there is moisture. So you preserve this in the freezer, sorry, in the fridge at where you keep your vegetables and fruits. Yes, I think that place, the temperature is a bit lower. So we are done. Thank you so, so much for staying with me. And let me know in the description or the, sorry, in the comment section your views about this so now that we are done we have covered it we are going to keep it in the fridge so join me so my fridge this is where i keep my fruit and vegetables so i'll just create a space and keep it here this place is free from moisture so we meet again it is bye for now see you in my next video i love you all